Hi, it's Don the Auction Professor here. I thought I'd show you a few more things that uh, I run across pretty much regularly, at least a couple times a week. Uh, these can be found at pretty much anywhere used items are sold, garage, uh, garage sales, thrift stores, flea markets, antique sales, uh, estate sales, pretty much anywhere you can find used items. Uh, first one are jigglers. As you see, they do jiggle. Uh, these came out in the 60s. They're pretty much mostly horror characters. I've seen them for uh, dragons, Chinese dragons I've had. Um, they run like 14 inches, the big dragons. The little jigglers, like these, they're about 5 inches tall. Uh, they're translucent when you hold them up to the light. Otherwise, they're pretty much brown in color. Um, biggest one I see all the time are the uh, King Kongs. You see, I got two here. Uh, I paid a nickel for these apiece. I expect to get 10 or 15 minimum, uh, all the way up to 25, depending on the size of the uh, King Kong figure. I've had large ones that are about twice this size. I've gotten 40 or 54. Uh, it just depends on what they are. They're usually marked made in Hong Kong, Hong Kong, or made in Japan. Uh, they're just cast rubber little doodads. Um, see them all the time. Here's a close-up of the jigglers we were showing you. Again, they are uh, poorly cast. This is typical. Don't let that sway you. Uh, they're very collectible. They'll sell very quick. They are pretty ugly, but uh, that's what sells. There's versions of these called the Uglies, which are literally designed as little rubber ugly dolls, little monster creatures. Uh, most of them are horror, uh, but again, they are worth 15, 20, even 30 bucks on some of these small ones. The bigger ones go for even more. Pick them up whenever you can, because they are going to get you some money back. Another one are the little bendable figures. Uh, this is Pokey. Gumby's Horse. These are from uh, 1966, 67 era. Original, still in good condition. Again, a nickel, 10 cents a quarter. Five or 10 bucks a piece you can get for either one of these. Gumby, the same thing. Depending on the size, again, some of the bigger ones go for two or three times that. You might get 30 or 40 bucks for a bigger version of this that's 14 inches tall. Even Santa Claus, they made bendies. Again, this is an original Hong Kong 60s. It's a keychain. 15 or 20 bucks is what I'd expect to get them. They come in pretty much any character you could imagine. Superman, Batman, um, a Batman of this size I've sold for 20 or 30 bucks. Same with Superman. Some of the Marvel ones are a little harder to find. They'll go for a little more money. Uh, but you see these pretty much all over the place. Little quarter bins, uh, five cent bins, uh, bag lots on the wall at Savers, or pretty much anywhere you go you find used items again. Here's the uh, Bendems. They've had various names, but they're basically rubber coated over wire. Uh, this one's actually marked with the manufacturer, 1966 uh, Lakeside Inc. That's the maker of the toys. You'll see them pretty much not just Gumby, but other characters, cartoon characters, animals, um, zoo animals. Very collectible. Santa's the same way. He is not marked other than Hong Kong, which you can see on there, but made the same way. Made pretty much identical. Mm, rubber over metal. Very collectible again. These are a nickel a quarter. You might get 10 or 15 bucks for them a piece. Another item that I run into constantly, especially around the holidays, are celluloid deer. Uh, these most people think are plastic. Uh, they'll be marked Hong Kong, Japan, um, pretty much about all the only markings I usually see in them. But they are celluloid. They make an odd noise when they're dropped on the table. The very light weigh, jeez, I mean they're just a few uh, grams only each. You can get them for five cents, a whole bag of them. I think I paid a dollar thirty for six of these uh, the other day. The rest I've been just saving and throwing in a container until I get more of them. Um, I sold this bunch here for around thirty dollars. Uh, again, there's probably about $1.50, $2 invested in them. Celluloid, they come in various sizes. Um, get used to knowing what they sound like, what they look like. Uh, look for the markings. They don't all have markings on them, but uh, made in Hong Kong, I believe most of these have on them. Here's a close-up of the celluloid deer. Yeah, again, you'll see them pretty much all over the place. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is stamped in there. This one's actually stamped Made in Occupied Japan. Pretty much rounds these from the 1940, late 40s, 47-ish on through the early 50s. Original, very collectible. They show up all the time. 
They don't have to say made in occupied Japan, but made in Japan, made in Hong Kong, a uh, very good item to get. You should see these pretty much all over, especially around the holidays. People get rid of them uh, just before Christmas and make way for new ornaments. That's usually when I find the most of them, but they do show up pretty much all year round. Again, they could show up in the shape of Santa Clauses or pretty much any other animal or creature, manger scenes that you may run across. Uh, check them out. They're very light. Doesn't quite feel like plastic. Um, again, it's cellulite. Uh, again, if you see them anywhere, get them. They don't just show up for the holidays. I'll see them in toy bins, um, little bags on the wall at Savers. Uh, pretty much, again, anywhere you go. Uh, Christmas, they're, they show up a lot more. They come in uh, Santa Claus shapes. They come in Christmas ornaments. Again, they are celluloid. They all usually have this color, but I have seen them in reds and a few other colors uh, that have been dyed to, to resemble another item. Not plastic, but celluloid. Uh, if you get them, see them, grab them, set them aside. You're not going to get a ton of money for each one, but in groups like this, a uh, dozen or so, you're going to get 30, 40, 50 bucks for them. It wouldn't take less than 20 for them. Again, should be able to find them pretty much anywhere.